In this master that I give video, we're going to be looking at the Conford Roadhouse, the 30 watt version of the Roadhouse 30. Now what I've got here is I've got the head hooked up to a 1x12 Conford cab, which has got a vintage 30 speaker in it. Now the amp itself is fairly straightforward in the sense it's really a, a single channel amp with a boost. It's powered by two EL34 power tubes and it has three 12 AX7 preamp tubes in it. Now layout wise, what we have in the front here is we have our on off standby switch, which is the three way. Uh, we have our master volume. We have the effects loop send return in the front here, which is quite handy. Normally you would have that in the back of the amp, but being in the front of the amp, that means you can you know quickly kind of plug effects in without having to faff about in the dark with the back of the amp. EQ wise, we've got our usual treble, middle, and bass. Uh, then we have the boost level over here. Uh, that's the kind of manual switch in the amp for the boost, but I'll be using the foot switch for bringing the boost in and out. And then we have the gain on the far right here, and then the actual guitar inputs on the front panel here as well. On the rear panel, we have our input for the, the foot switch, and we have outputs for 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 16 ohm kind of speaker configurations. So I'm just going to run the, my SAR guitar straight into it. Uh, the cable's just going straight in the front here. There's no pedals or anything in the way. Uh, now what I've got is I've got the EQ all set by 12 o'clock, I've got the gain set by 12 o'clock and the master volume is just under one. Anyway, this is what it sounds like on the next uh, single call. <laughs> I'm going to break up there because I've got the gain of at 12 o'clock, but it's got a really nice kind of sound to it there. On the bridge, humbucker, this is what it sounds like. So I'm picking kind of lighter here. But of course, if I begin to hit a bit harder. to kind of crunch up a little bit there. Okay, so just to give you an idea of the kind of range of the gain in the amp, I'll keep the EQ all at 12 o'clock, but muck about with the, the overall gain control. So if we bring that down, uh, and I'll bring it down here to about kind of nine o'clock. Uh, this is the next angle we'll call. So obviously just remove that little bit that kind of crunch there. Bridge humbucker. Still a little bit of a kind of crunch there, but it's cleaned up a bit. Now if I bring the gain up to about three o'clock, Next single cards is what we have. Expecting more of that kind of martially kind of sound now.
I'll just play like a, an E major chord or something on the on with the next single chord. With the bass off, this is what it sounds like. With the bass up full, this is what it sounds like. So there is, you know, a lot more bass here obviously, but the when you take all the bass out it doesn't go totally thin. You know, that's still kind of usable. And the bass when it's up full isn't ridiculously kind of muffly or unusable. If you do the same in the middle, uh, this is with the middle off. Middle up full. Yeah, obviously I, I personally prefer quite a lot of mids in my sound anyway. Really kind of helps to cut through live. But once again, you know, even when the mid's cut off, it's not totally, you know, it's not at the kind of extreme end. If I bring uh, the treble and I put the treble off, treble up full. Idea of the kind of the the sweep range, which of those kind of good controls there. So let's have a listen to what the boost gives us. So I've got the amp set up uh, with the gain about twelve o'clock. Uh, I've got the boost about twelve o'clock, and I've got the EQ kind of set up to where I kind of like it. I've just tamed the volume a little bit, so hopefully it won't clip the microphone. Um, so this is the amp as before. We've kind of looked at this with the gain at twelve o'clock. <laughs> Now with the boost. So you can hear there's a volume increase there and there's obviously a little more gain added in there. So if I now um, take the amp game gain up to a bit kind of uh, two o'clock there, I'm going to keep the boost still at twelve o'clock. This is what we get. Okay, once again a little bit more kind of gain now. Now what I'm going to do is put the boost up to the kind of the level I like to have it at, which is about ten. Uh, out of 11, because the Comfort Amps got up to 11 as well. So this is what it's like uh, without the boost. So you've got a lot more sustain there, a lot more gain and it begins to kind of scream a lot more. instrumental stuff or if you want to really kind of cut through live with a solo. Now let's have a look um, at the kind of gain extremes I suppose. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the boost up full and the gain up full just to let you hear the kind of extreme end. <laughs> I wouldn't really have it that setting anyway because you just lose a little bit of the kind of clarity. But if I wanted to get more of a metal sound anyway, what I would do is scoop the mids. So this is what it's like um, with the mids off totally, put the bass just past 12 o'clock, and I've got treble at kind of 3 o'clock there. <laughs> Now you're at the 
understand it's more of a kind of classic click of voice thing, but it just shows you, you know, once again, if you muck about with EQ, you can get passable kind of metal tones of these sort of things. But, you know, I prefer to have a lot of mids, you know, maybe not as extreme with the, <clears throat> the treble, because it just has that really lovely... <laughs> Crisp, really, really nice response. 